Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very chill, relaxing nighttime skincare routine. In particular, the skincare products that I use for my nighttime routine are geared towards dry skin and aging skin. This is a nighttime skincare routine that I've been following for a while, and so far it's done a great job in terms of providing me with the added moisture that my skin needs and addressing the wrinkles that are starting to pop up as a result of aging. If you're new here to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I'm a beauty fashion and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So if you're excited to see my nighttime skincare routine and some of the products that I have to share with you today, then please keep watching. Since we've been here sheltered in place, I haven't had a need to go out very often. So for the most part, I haven't been wearing makeup very often and therefore don't have a need to remove any of my makeup. So this is really going to be my skincare routine that I've been following since we've been here sheltered in place. The first step in my skincare routine is I use this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And this is really nice because it's very milky, it's very creamy, and it doesn't feel like it's stripping my skin of any oils that I have on it. The CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser is for normal to dry skin. It says it cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore the protective skin barrier, and it has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Once I am done cleansing my skin, I will use this Thayer's Witch Hazel which is a rose petal toner. It's an alcohol-free toner. And this is really nice because similar to the CeraVe cleanser, because it doesn't have any alcohol in it, it doesn't strip your skin of any of its essential oils. It also doesn't dry out your skin. So this is just a really nice way to, once you have cleansed your skin, to just make sure that you are going over it with some toner and making sure that you're sort of tightening up those pores. Which for me, I have pretty large pores, so it doesn't do a whole lot for that, but, but sure, I use it anyway. The next thing that I typically do after I use toner is I will use a mask, and this really just depends upon what day it is. I don't use a mask every single day. I'll usually try to use a mask at least once a week, and sometimes, just depending on how my skin is feeling, I'll use one every other day. Now, using a mask mask is going to be particularly important for someone like me with dry skin because it's going to add some moisture back into my face along with any added value properties that that particular mask has. So for today, the mask that I'm going to be using is by a brand called WEN and it's called Glamour Base and it came in this packet of additional masks. This particular packet has four other masks. This Glamour Base mask is a firming mask. As I mentioned, this is a set of five masks which you can get at Costco. All of the other masks in this set, along with this mask right here, have some other added value properties to them. And I will go ahead and leave a link in the description box below so that you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. So the way that this mask works is it is a triple layer mask. And so when you take it out of the package, it's going to have three different layers. There's going to be a plastic layer. There's going to be sort of like a cellulose layer, I wanna say. Um, this is the layer that you're not going to wanna put on your skin. So you're gonna peel that off and then you're going to peel the plastic part off as well. Okay, and then you go ahead and wait. So I typically wait for about 30 minutes or so because I like all of the serum to sink into my skin and it does give me a little bit of time for some self-care. So during this time while I am waiting for the serum to sink into my skin, I will usually take some time to read a book on my Kindle, listen to a podcast, maybe watch some YouTube videos, check out some social media. Okay, so once the timer is done, then I will go ahead and remove the mask. And instead of washing off the excess of the mask, I just go ahead and rub in any leftovers into my skin. So once I have toned my face, I use this True Skin Serum. It's a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serum. And this is just something that you can get on the True Skin website, but I get it off of Amazon. This product is really nice because it helps to address any of the splotchiness that I have on my face or any of the hyperpigmentation that I have. It's also really nice because it helps to address any signs of aging that might pop up, which is definitely sort of where we're at right now in life. 
whether we like it or not. The next step in my routine is this anti-wrinkle miracle worker eye from Philosophy and this is the line correcting eye cream. I will basically just take this and dab a little bit under each eye and then also on the sides of each eye so that way it addresses any crow's feet that might be popping up. This is a really nice product because it feels nice going on, it feels substantial, it doesn't feel super greasy, but it also doesn't feel too lightweight that you feel like you're not wearing anything at all. Definitely when I'm using my eye creams, I want to make sure that I can feel some sort of moisture going onto my skin, otherwise it just feels like I'm literally wearing nothing, in which case it doesn't feel like it's doing anything for me. And then after I've done eye cream, I go in with this Kos RX Hyaluronic Acid Hydra Power Essence, and this is just to add another bonus hydration layer to my skin. It just, it's almost like a serum, but it's sort of like a slimy-ish kind of serum. So I really like it because it gives me another layer of moisture to my dry skin. After that, I go in with this Josie Moran Pure Argon Milk. This is an intense hydrating treatment and I just use a dropper full and I spread it all over my face and make sure that it really sinks into my skin and again just very similar to all the other products that i'm using because it's made of argon milk it really helps to add another layer of moisture and hydration to my skin once i'm done with that step i go in with my josie moran whipped argon oil face butter this is an ultra hydrating face butter it's basically just a moisturizer a really moisturizing moisturizer and I have the scent Juicy Mango. When I first purchased this I thought it might be a little bit strange to have a facial moisturizer that smells like fruit but it's oddly satisfying and it doesn't actually irritate my skin which is the one thing that I was worried about with having a scented moisturizer. So this is really nice. I've really been loving this and it's actually almost empty so that just shows you how much I really enjoy this. So the face butter that pretty much completes my nighttime facial skincare routine. Routine. So after the facial skincare routine, I like to go in with this IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Neck Cream cream. And this is just really nice. This is for all skin types. I just go in on my neck and then also all over my chest area just so that it smooths it. It gives it some moisture for when I'm sleeping because that's definitely another area that shows some signs of aging. If you don't take care of it, you could take the best care of your skin, but if you neglect your neck area and your chest area, it's going to be very apparent that you're showing those signs of aging, which by no means is a bad thing. But if you're like me and you're starting Starting to get up there in age, it's definitely one of those things that you want to kind of keep at bay for as long as possible. And then finally, the last step of my nighttime skincare routine is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a holy grail for many, 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 many people out there. It's just very nice and soft and hydrating for your lips, and it just makes them pillowy soft in the morning. That's the best way that I could describe it. So you just go ahead and put this on with the added adorable little spatula that it comes with and then you're good to go. And I like to go in a little bit more heavy handed with this just because my lips do tend to dry out throughout the night. And so it is nice for that reason to just go in and add a little bit more product to your lips. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some of the other videos here on my channel, I will go ahead and link a couple videos right here. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!